You think of military service, you're proud, but fearful at the same time. I had been thinking about finding a way to serve my country for a long time. 9-11 happened his first month in school. It was clear that our country was going to be going through a rough period. He thinks carefully about what he stands for. I just drove up to the recruiter's office. You can't shake him easily when he believes in something. And I just walked in and said, I want to enlist. In fact, you really can't shake him at all if he believes in it strongly. I called my mother after uh, I had enlisted. Oh, by the way, I, I just joined the United States Marine Corps. I wasn't really surprised. Stephen is a very patriotic person. I think I was one of the easiest recruits they've ever had. He was going to do it. It was the right thing for him to do. But I was terrified. The night before I left to go off to war, I went down to the uh, Boone County Courthouse and the war memorials there. I went through and read the names of every person from Boone County that had been killed fighting for our country. If they could be brave, that I could be brave, and I knew that if they thought this community was worth sacrificing for, I too could offer that same sacrifice. After Stephen returned from his first deployment, he knew that other people were still there fighting that war. When you're a Marine and there's other Marines still overseas fighting, you feel like you should be with them. You can't go back to being a regular college student after you've been to war. I thought if I can spend a year of my life and prevent somebody else from getting hurt or killed, how can I not do that? My second tour, I ended up being a squad leader in charge of 12 other Marines. We are in, basically in the center of Fallujah. Maybe the nastiest city in the world at that time. Al-Qaeda fighters who were trying to take the city from the Marines. He, uh, he wasn't afraid. Weber would never run away. We had a fight that fall to find out who was going to control the city. I think Weber went back on his second tour just because he felt like a sense of duty, that he owed it to himself and to his country and to the Marine Corps to go do it. You know, I saw guys run through streets with machine gun fire to get to each other. He wanted to lead other Marines in battle. Knowing that Weber had experience over there, his courage gave me courage. I volunteered to take my squad into the center of the city and set an ambush on the main street. A lot of times they attack the first Humvee. Weber, like always, hopped in that first vehicle. He was in front is because if something happened, he wanted to be the one up there that was in harm's way. You don't lead from the back, you lead from the front, and he did that every single time in the most dangerous city in the world. The enemy wants to get you when you're not expecting it. The way that Weber led us, no matter what, he kept us moving forward. It viewed a lot of me being here today to having him as a leader. The fact that he was so calm, it kept us calm to get out of those situations. I think the idea of fighting for other people, of working hard and serving with courage, makes you realize what's important. When we got back, everybody was trying to figure out, you know, who do they call or what do they do? Or at that moment, 100% sure that I wanted to come home to Boone County, do what I could to make this community the best it could be, and I didn't want to be anywhere else. And I know that every day I have here is an opportunity to do the right thing for our community.